Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So I want to come on here and talk about the whole little Boosie situation. Being that little Boosie boo is trending all over Twitter and Instagram. So what went down is this. Basically, little Boosie did another interview with Vlad TV. You know, the one that y'all claim to boycott, but yet and still y'all live on his couch. That Vlad. So he did an interview with Vlad. And basically in that interview, he was stating that Michael B. Jordan is a simp and that, you know, basically he's silly for trying to wife up somebody like Lori Harvey. Because I think for Valentine's Day, Michael B. Jordan gave her some type of ring or they're engaged. Honey, I can't keep up. But he's not feeling it. So I want y'all to go ahead and listen to this Vlad TV interview that he did with Lil Boosie. Check this out. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. All right. You got to start giving them the critic instead of, instead of Lori. Well, to be fair, most of the guys you talk about have been through a bunch of bad chicks already. You right. know what I mean? Although Lori right. Harvey's a very pretty girl, right. I wouldn't put her at the absolute top of the... But the industry has. Okay. You wouldn't put her. Yeah. The music has that, you know what I'm saying? So you got to look at the bachelors who hear on, hear, hear on somebody's song and be like, oh, everybody talking about her. Watch this. Oh, yeah. I'm well, finna well, go get him. What, what I'm finna go said? get a piece of this. You got to get a black bachelor some kind of credit now. I want Lori Harvey on my wish list. You yeah. know what? Well, nigga like me saying that, somebody else saying that. You know what a rapper saying? You know, I want her because, you know, a lot of big dogs want her on a wish list. You know, so you can't look at it. You know, you got to start giving the bachelor's credit. You act like, you know, you, people act like they falling, but nobody's stuck. Yeah, I, I guess like. You only going to stuck, you know, once you done ran through like that, you know, you, you really going to only going to catch a simp. You ain't going to catch no speed. Well, she got Michael B. Jordan, who's pretty, pretty famous actor. Yeah, I man. mean, is he the, the biggest Black actor in Hollywood right now. I yeah, mean, if you I really, th if you really think about it, right now as a but that's what kind of dude you as be. a leading man. Like who who is bigger than Michael B. Jordan right now? Nobody. Nobody. I mean, Denzel's already older, and you know what I'm saying he did his thing. And you know, there's a lot of older Samuel Jacksons right. and everything. Right. But right now, if you want to sell movie tickets or Michael streams, Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan. He's coming back from Black Panther too. The star of Creed, like the star of a bunch of movies. He he's the guy right now. Right, so right. he's claiming her. You know, he they take pictures together. I told you she's gonna get a, a guy like that. Cause he's not a street guy. Uh I'm not gonna put a guy like that. That's 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 who will marry her. Uh, I feel like that's they look good together too. That's the kind of guy who would who yeah. would marry her, you know, somebody. You know what I'm saying? So, so you wouldn't marry a Lori Harvey? No, nah, I wouldn't. No. Well, you're not talking about I, I, I don't look for that in a woman, girls who, if a girl like that, I'm just trying to fuck her to, you know, tell my homie. All right. So you guys just heard what Lil Boosie had to say. So, of course, social media was dragging him. He was getting drugged all over Twitter, all over Instagram. Folks were really upset about what he had to say about Lori. So then he decided to do an update. And basically during that update, he decided to double down on everything that he stated. So y'all go ahead and check out this update right here. How about I'm hating on Lord? What I, what I want to hate on Lord for? I just said y'all got it fucked up saying that's gold. If you saying that's gold, that means you want your daughter to fuck seven or eight, nine niggas in a couple months in the industry. If that's goals, if that's cool with you for your daughter doing that, then I can't say shit. But what's wrong with y'all motherfuckers is y'all salute the woman who get passed around, but y'all dog the woman who stick by they nigga when they nigga fuck over. Y'all dog the real bitches who stick by they nigga. You heard me? But y'all salute the bitches who go from hand to hand. The world fucked up, but the woman who stick by her nigga, find her one nigga, find her one celebrity and stick by that nigga, she stupid. The world fucked up. I'm just a speaker. The All right, so y'all just heard what Lil Boosie had to say as well. 
Now, what I find real funny is that he's doling out all this advice about what women should do and, you know, how women should carry themselves. But I'm confused. Are the women, you remember the, the grown women that you allowed to suck your 14-year-old child's peen? Are those grown women not considered whores in your book? Since Lori Harvey is, are those grown women not somebody's daughter? Like, it's very funny, the hypocrisy and the double standards of some of these men in hip hop. But anyways, honey, go ahead and check out this video. My nine year old, 10 year old, I showed all them how to put on rubber. Before you even start having sex, I didn't show my sons how to put on rubber. Ain't finna get my son no motherfucking shit out here. I'm training them boys right. I'm training them boys right. Ask in them, my... my 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 nephew, ask him, um, ask my son. Yeah. They were 12, 13. They got here. Yeah. That's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. Hell yeah, I got my fucking son dick up. You fucking right. <coughs> yes, a grown woman. Grown, super grown. Super grown. Check this ass out. Checked all my nephews out. Super grown. Is she grown? She checked me out. All right, so y'all just watched that video of him bragging about, you know, getting his children head. And, you know, he confirmed that the head was good because the woman also gave him head. So the chick who gave him head, it was so good that he told her to go give his sons, his minor children head. And she did that, you know, so no judgment towards her for basically sexually molesting your children. But you have all this judgment for Lori. Now, let me say this. I, I don't really care about Lori Harvey one way or another. I think she's unproblematic. Besides her fucking everybody in the industry, it doesn't make me a difference one way or another. It doesn't affect my life. Um, but I find it very funny that he's so worried about who she sleeps with and who she's with. And, you know, she's smashing Diddy and his son. Or is she smashing this guy and that guy? How come he doesn't have this same curiosity and concern for his male counterparts? Why does he not care that Future is out here, you know, slinging peen everywhere and getting people knocked up and not taking care of his children? Why isn't he concerned with all the shit that's going on with T.I.? That was all over social media. He didn't say a peep. He kept he was very quiet. So where's all the concern for all this stuff sexually deviant that's going on in the industry? Raz B been crying for years about being touched and abused by Chris Stokes. You're quiet there. But somehow Lori Harvey who's minding her own business, living her best life, jumping from whoever to whoever because she's grown, is somehow upsetting Lil Boosie and, and a bunch of, you know, men on social media. Well, I really believe the reason why a lot of these guys are upset is because Lori's out of their league. Let's keep it real. She's a beautiful woman, and she's not going to settle for anything less. Every guy that she's dated, they've been about something. And with the exception of Future, even though, you know, he he does have a name for himself, most of them are like, you know, upper echelon. You know what I'm saying? They have themselves together. They got money. They got fame. So I don't understand what the problem is. You know, everybody wants to call her a hoe. But me personally, do I believe that she fucked all these people? I'm 99% sure. But again, I don't care. Because the difference between Lori and all these other hood rats that these dudes tend to fuck she's not out here getting pregnant and and writing dear john letters on social media and demanding that this rapper that she chose to become the seventh or eighth or ninth or 15th baby mama to step up and take care of their child that is the difference between Lori. she might be out here smashing everything that walks but guess what she's not out here producing children by every rapper who whispers in her ear that's the difference that's why people don't go at Lori as hard that's why Lori doesn't get drugged like a lot of these other girls because she's not lying up to be babe mama number 9 10 11 and 12 now another thing Lil Boosie has 10 children by I believe 10 different women so if you're so down for women holding down their guys and being good women why did you not marry any of your baby's mothers you have 10 to choose from so you mean to tell me from 10 different women who risked their lives who risked their bodies to bear your children none of them were worthy of a ring None of them were worthy of making you settle down and be with them. So you want to dish advice to young men on who they should uplift and settle down with. But somehow that doesn't apply to your own life. I find that very funny because Lil Boosie is out here impregnating all types of women and making sure that these women will always have a tie to him. But these women are not worthy of him walking down the aisle with them and making them a wife. But yet and still, he's quick to doll out advice. The double standards coming from a lot of these industry men are funny. 
you know, they're just really comical. Just like I believe the other day, Plies and Waka Flocka were talking about, oh, women need to love themselves and not get butt implants and get their titties done and this and that. Excuse me? I've never seen either one of y'all without a, a female on your arm whose body wasn't done or touched up. Or, you know what I mean? Like, until I see y'all with some regular degler women with regular degler parts, miss me with the bullshit on what women choose to do to their bodies, okay? Now, back to Lil Boosie. He also went on to say, y'all salute women who get passed around but dog out real bitches that stick by they nigga. I'm confused. First of all, let's stop glorifying bullshit, okay? Let's stop glorifying people in struggle relationships, holding down shitty men who are putting them through all types of bullshit as the down-ass chicks. You want them to hold you down while you run the streets and live your best life? You want them to be there like a doll on the shelf. Then when they feel like picking you up, they come and take you off the shelf and, you know, spoil you for a bit, then put you back and go back to running the streets. That's not healthy. That fucks with you mentally. And that's also the signs of a toxic situation. How about you train your children to have standards to never settle, be it male or female children? How about you train them to have better standards for themselves so that way they can attract a better standard to them? Nobody should be forced to be in a relationship to hold down a real nigga if the real nigga is not acting like a real nigga, okay? That word gets passed around just way too many damn times. His whole rant to me is bullshit. Um, I don't agree with it. And I just find it funny that Lori constantly gets drugged by men. But what I see is that Lori's the type of woman, like I said, she's a bad chick. And she's not going to settle because she knows she's a bad chick. She knows she's pretty. She has a nice body. So she's not going to sit here and just settle for any rapper, any dude that looks her way. She knows per her looks and her body, she can get the best of the best. Her mama trained her well, and I'm not mad at her at all. So it is what it is. On that note, let me get back to my Discord meeting. All the people in Texas, please keep your head up. I know it's rough as hell out there. Um, make sure you guys like the video, share the video if you feel like sharing it, leave a comment, let me know your thoughts. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And last but not least, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that we can be down with the notification squad. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.